Wow, that's really not the look I was going for. Hi guys, this video is going up a week late and apologies for that. For the last two weeks, this is the third week, I have had this flu slash cold slash I don't know what virus that has taken over my whole body and has prevented me from doing anything and the last thing that I could possibly even imagine doing was sitting in front of the camera and recording a video so I am so sorry that I am behind but I have great intentions that this video will go up on Thursday and then there will be another video going up on Sunday and then Thursday and then Sunday but don't hold me to that because you know life and things happen. So I've been watching a lot of people's YouTubes and seeing that they're doing their January favourites and these are my January favourites. I have found January really hard to pick favourites because I'm just loving so many different products. So we'll start with makeup and the first thing I want to talk to you about is this and it is the Sleek Eyeliner Pen. It's like a, almost like a black felt tip pen. I use this for eyeliner for doing winged eyeliner and I usually use a similar pen from MAC and I would go out on a limb and say this is better than the one from MAC and it's a fraction of the price. I think that the brush end is a lot firmer, it um, brushes on which is nice but it's not like using an actual felt tip. I just think that it's got a nicer point to it and you can create a nicer line and I am really loving it and I have made no secret of the fact that I love sleek eyeshadow palettes. I've got over 10 of the sleek eyeshadow palettes and I wanted to try a different makeup from their range so I ordered a few different things and this was one of the things that I ordered and I just am absolutely in love with it. I just, I literally gave it a try because I couldn't find my MAC one anywhere and I was in a rush and I grabbed this and just absolutely fell in love with it. So this is an absolute must have for me right now and I'm using it all the time and I'm actually using it in place of a higher end product. So if you're looking for an eyeliner pen, I definitely, definitely think that this is a great one. Next is eyelashes. I'm a real eyelash girl. I like to wear eyelashes a lot. I feel like I've got really small eyes and they look quite closed and I feel like when I'm wearing lashes they just open my eye more and just give me a little bit of a confidence boost. So I do like to wear lashes a lot. These are my favourites. They're Isla Volume number 101 and I just think that they're natural and nice and lightweight and they don't feel like you're wearing too much but they also add something. I think that you can get ones that look too natural and they don't really add anything to the eye so these are natural but they are adding something there's obviously no point wearing them if they're not adding anything so these are my go-to lashes and I wear these for evening looks and I wear them for day looks and I just think they're fab so despite the fact that I am a lashes girl I'm not wearing lashes right now and I'm not wearing lashes as much I still wear them for evening looks and I still wear them for special occasions or if I'm going out to dinner or something but I'm feeling like I don't need to wear them as much because I have found this and this is the mascara that I tried from Rimmel it's in one of my videos which I'll link below for you it is called Volume Flash Scandal Eyes Mascara Extreme Black and I think that this is the only mascara I've ever found that makes me feel confident enough to not wear lashes which is a big statement for me because they do give me a confidence boost and sometimes I feel like I need that and I feel like my eyes really do let me down if I'm not wearing lashes and I've just been loving this because it just enhances my natural lashes and it's great for times when you don't want to be wearing false lashes so with all of that makeup and it's really eye makeup that I have gone with this month you need to have a good makeup remover and I've tried all different makeup removers from makeup wipes to different cleansing lotions and different kinds of makeup removing techniques and I always find that when it comes to eye makeup I'm having to scrub at my eyes and that's not 
good. You don't want to be scrubbing at the eye area, it's a very sensitive area and what that will do is just damage the area around there which makes it quite sore and tender but it will also make the eye red and just not look appealing either. So you don't want to be doing any kind of rubbing motion when you are taking eye makeup off. But I find that no matter what I use, I am having to rub to get all of the makeup off until I found this product. This is the Nivea Double Effect Eye Makeup Remover and it's got two layers, it's got this blue layer and this clear layer and you just give it a good old shake and you put it on a cotton pad and I literally put it on two cotton pads over my eyes and I just hold it there for a few seconds and then just wipe away and literally I can just wipe the eye makeup off. There is no scrubbing, there is no rubbing motion. It just comes off and it's really nice and gentle on the eyes and I absolutely love it. And I aren't personally a contact lens wearer, but if you are, this is supposed to be good for contact lens wearers as well. So definitely do recommend this. So the next beauty style product is dry shampoo. I have had my hair dyed as you can see and I find that it's been through quite a turmoil to get to this colour and it's had a lot of damage done to it and it's all about taking care of it now so that it, we don't have any breakages or any further damage to the hair, we just want to be looking after it now and making it feel good. So I don't want to be washing it too much, also because that's just going to make the colour fade out faster and that's going to mean that I'm going to have to have it done again and then that's going to add extra damage and all of that good stuff. So I have been using this a lot, it's dry shampoo, I use this one because it's for dark colour hair, for like brown hair because obviously regular dry shampoo is like a white talcum powdery colour and that can show up really really bad on darker colours so I've got this one for kind of the top and I use this one kind of just all over what I've been doing is just spraying the roots of my hair before I go to bed that's what I've heard is the best to do and what I found is that I'm not needing to wash my hair as much I've got really thin limp hair and I do find that I have to wash it more regular than I would like to and this is just helping me get between washes. One product that I cannot live without at the moment, it's been overly used in January, is this. It is the Lush King of Skin. So this is like a body butter kind of bar and you use it in the shower and you use it in the bath and then you rinse it off and it just moisturizes the skin. It is a lazy person's moisturizing cheap basically. I think moisturising the skin is so important, particularly in winter, my skin is so dry, it needs moisturising, but I don't have time for that. I literally just want to crawl into bed when I have finished in the bath. I don't want to be lathering myself up in body lotion and then waiting for it to absorb into my skin and it's just, uh, I'm just, I don't do it basically. So finding something that will moisturise my skin and that is easy to use and it isn't a whole hassle is just a heaven for me. So as well as my blush obsession, you guys already know I have a planner addiction and there's no shame in my game. I love planners. All planners, all shapes, all sizes, all have a different purpose and I need all of them. And of course it's my favourite so I have to have a planner and it's this one, the happiness planner. This is a planner with a bit of a twist. It is all about just finding the happiness and focusing on what makes you happy and kind of analysing your day and seeing that even when it was a really bad day, there was still good in the day. So obviously my planner addiction has now spread to planner stickers and I have picked up these really funky cool stickers for planning things 
I got these from the Hummingbird Planner on Etsy and I'll link the shop below but there are like loads of different shops on Etsy that sell planner stickers. I chose the Hummingbird Planner because they sold all of the stickers that I wanted because they do such an array of different stickers. I wanted particular ones like ones to represent birthdays, ones to represent appointments, ones for things for my dog, one for shopping, one for when I'm posting a video and I'm quite tight and I didn't want to pay postage twice so I only went to buy from one seller so I found the Hummingbird Planner seemed to have all of the stickers that I wanted and I just think they're great because they brighten up a planner and I think why write things down when you can symbolise them with a cute sticker so lastly is a bit of a strange one, it's called a pop socket and it is this on the back of my phone it sticks on and it kind of pops down and pops up and it works as a bit of a handle so you can hold your phone easily and it's great if you are a selfie taker and you want to take selfies easily. I got this because this phone is quite a big phone for me. I find that I struggle sometimes when I'm texting or I'm trying to do something and I've dropped this phone I don't know how many times. This is a hand-me-down phone. I inherited this when my husband got his new phone simply because I can't be trusted with technology and every single phone I've ever had or even had the pleasure of using for a short period I have broken. Cracked screens, chipped them, just completely wrecked them. I just cannot be trusted with technology and I literally got this a couple of days after Christmas and I had broken the screen within a week and I don't just mean like it was a little bit cracked, there was a full on hole in the screen, it was unusable and it was in the most pristine condition when I got it and it was just completely wrecked. So I wanted something that would help me hold the phone because it's quite a big phone I don't want one of those big cases that's going to make it even bigger that's just going to make me drop it more so I saw people were using these and it does just help me keep hold of the phone a bit better it just adds a bit of extra support so if you are like me and you are a bit clumsy with technology these are great it also can be used as a stand so they are my favourites for January they are the products I have been loving the most. I just love products in general so it's really hard for me to kind of pick and make decisions like that but I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did I'd love you to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already please subscribe, it's that little red button down there and it just makes me really happy to be making videos for you regularly and it means you won't ever miss another video. If you've got any comments, don't forget to leave them below and I will see you next week for another video. Take care guys, bye!